Nobody is a new action film that is currently playing in theaters. It stars Bob Odenkirk, Christopher Lloyd, Riza, and a bunch of other people. Nobody focuses on the character of Hutch Mansell. Hutch is somebody who is very underestimated and overlooked. Basically, he's a nobody. One night, his house gets broken into, and the aftermath of the incident leads him to a very violent encounter, and now a vengeful drug lord is out for revenge. It turns out Hutch may have been a very different person in the past. Nobody is a movie that I was excited for for a couple of reasons. I'm a huge fan of Bob Odenkirk. I think he's a fantastic actor. He's in the shows Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and he plays one of the best characters in those shows. I believe he's very talented, but I never in a million years thought he would play the role of a badass character in a very violent movie. So I was definitely intrigued with how he was going to do in this type of movie. And I thought the trailer was very promising. So I saw the movie last night in Dolby. And the question is, what did I think of it? I'm very happy to report that Nobody is a blast of an action film. Nobody is a type of movie that knows exactly what it is. It's an hour and 30 minute thrill ride that is filled with dark comedy and glorious action sequences. And if you go in expecting that, there's a very good chance that you're going to enjoy this movie. Now, beyond the fact that it's funny and that it's really entertaining and the action scenes are so impressive. What makes this movie as good as it is, is the casting choices. Let's talk about Bob Odenkirk. Now I mentioned that I never expected him to play this type of role ever, but he just knocks it out of the park. He basically brings his charisma and his mannerisms from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and he incorporates it here by also being this badass type character and it just works so well he really sells the role his action sequences are so impressive he actually did a lot of his own stunts and i was honestly amazed with what i saw him do with the action scenes and his choreography his hand-to-hand -hand combats what i really liked about his character the most uh, other than those factors is that his character is more relatable and i found him to be vulnerable too this man is someone who hasn't you know he, the character himself is retired from his former career. So when he goes back into action after many years, there are times where he gets his ass kicked and he doesn't do things perfectly. And that separates him from someone like John Wick, right? John Wick is someone who comes out of retirement, but he's basically perfect in the action scenes and he's just as badass as ever. While this, while um, Hutch is a badass character, he definitely struggles. And you can see that he has his frustrations and that he's more vulnerable in that way. And there might be some people who might downgrade that character for that reason, but I found him to be more humanized in that way. And, and like I said before, Bob Odenkirk, he really just sells the role. I can't imagine someone else playing the role after seeing this movie. I mean, Bob Odenkirk is like the perfect choice. And Christopher Lloyd. Now, Christopher Lloyd, we know him as um, the character in Back to the Future. He's also in this film. I had no idea he was going to be in this movie. So when I saw him, it was a pleasant surprise. He plays Hutch's father. And I'm not going to say much about him, but he's another character where he plays a type of role that you wouldn't expect, but it works so well. That's all I'm going to say. But he, he does a great job. He's not in it very much, but when he's there, he absolutely shines. Same, um, same case with Riza. Riza is also very good. Um, he's also not in it very much, but his character is really cool, and he does bring a lot to the table. The action sequences are awesome. This movie is rated R. And let me tell you, it absolutely earns its R rating. The fight scenes are bloody, brutal. I mean, a lot of people die. Bones are broken and all these injuries. Watching it in Dolby, you know, Dolby emphasizes the sound. So the sounds of all these things happening, I'm not going to lie, it was pretty dope. And um, I, I just had such a fun time watching this film. And the action sequences, and I'm not going to talk about any specific ones because this is a brand new movie. I'm not going to spoil it. but yeah, they, they definitely deliver. Like I said before, it's an hour and 30 minutes long. It's very entertaining. It doesn't drag. It knows exactly what it is. Now, have we seen this type of movie before? Yes, we have. I mean, I'm sure when I described the plot, um, you were probably thinking, okay, well, I've seen this type of film before, so why see this movie? Because it's really well executed. Um, and like I said, the casting choices is what separates it. Now, there's been a lot of comparisons to John Wick. Um, everyone compared nobody to... John Wick. Funny enough, um, the screenwriter of this film 
is the same screenwriter of the first three John Wick movies. And there are definitely some similar elements um, from John Wick that are in this film, but I would not say that this movie is a ripoff of John Wick, not at all. There are definitely things about it that makes it stand on its own. It, when it first starts out, like when the plot starts to kick in, it definitely looks like that it's about to be the exact same plot from the first John Wick, but it changes very quickly and it goes to a different direction. And besides, um, Keanu Reeves' character and Bob Odenkirk's character, they're very different. The um, situations are different. How everything plays out is different. It's just some similarities. You can see some of the inspiration, but I would not say it's a ripoff. In any case, um, does this movie break any new ground? Um, does it really go in depth with the character development? No. Here's the thing. The trailer, I don't think the trailer even promised that. The trailer just showed, look, this is an action movie that we may have seen many times before, but Bob Odenkirk is going to be in the film. He's going to kick a lot of ass and just roll with it. And I'm okay with it. I know some people that's not going to be enough. They're going to really want more plot, more um, character development. They're always going to want that, right? I'm someone who definitely values plot and character development and um, the full makings of a great film. But sometimes I just want to watch a movie and enjoy myself. And I think this is one of those movies. I love the John Wick movies, but do I watch them because the plots are so complex and the character development is phenomenal? No, I, I enjoy I enjoy them mainly because Keanu Reeves, you know, killing people and kicking all sorts of ass is very entertaining. Same thing with a movie like Speed, uh, a movie from the 90s. I actually we watched that recently. I, I love that film. It's a huge adrenaline rush. I think it's a great action movie, but I don't love it because it's... Um, its plot is similar to The Matrix. I like it because it does what it does well. I think this movie does what it does well. I will say about this movie, a flaw I do have with it, the villain, he's kind of weak. Uh, the villain is nothing memorable. He's kind of cartoony. I wish the villain was better. The actor who plays the villain does not do a bad job acting, but his character is not written very well. I do wish the villain was more memorable and more on par with Bob Odenkirk's character. So all in all, this is a blast of an action movie. I would say definitely see it in theaters if you can. It's definitely one of those movies you want to see on the big screen, or if you want to wait for it to come home, I'm sure whenever it goes on HBO, it's going to be playing on HBO and repeat. So you'll have the opportunity to watch it then. In any case, I'm going to give Nobody an 8 out of 10. This is a very solid action movie. Really good directing too. Um, very entertaining. Bob Odenkirk kills it. Christopher Lloyd kills it. Um, doesn't drag at all. The action scenes are awesome. This is a very solid action film. I would recommend seeing it. So I'm going to give Nobody an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching my review. I hope you guys will take into consideration if you want to see the film or not. My next review will be for the show Solar Opposites Season 2. It's an animated show that's um, on Hulu. And I really enjoyed the first season. So I'm very excited for the second season. Expect a review for Season 2. Um, in a couple of days. Um, look forward to that. And one more thing, actually, I want to make, um, I want to share something very special with you guys about this channel. My video, the top 10 best movies of 2020, has reached over a thousand views. That makes it my first video to reach over a thousand views. I think that's a huge milestone for my channel. Thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me. I'm very happy about that. When I saw that it re I reached over a thousand, I was really excited. So Thank you guys. I will actually link that video down below. I know I've referenced it many times, but um, I feel like I have to reference it again because it reached over a thousand views and I'm really happy about that. So thank you guys. Anyway, um, this YouTube channel is still going to be very active. Um, no hiatus anytime soon, I promise. So Solar Opposite Season 2 will be up in a few days. And um, yeah, that's my review of Nobody. So thank you guys again. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video if you want. And I'll see you guys next time with my review of Solar Opposites Season 2. Have a good day. It's beautiful weather out here in um, New Jersey. And um, if you live in a state where there's nice weather, I hope you guys enjoy it. And take care. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.